Hi, this is Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. We've got some new books. We've got The Lightning Rod by Brad Metzler. It's the second in the series, um, Nola, Zig and Nola, and he wrote The Escape Artist. That was the first one in this series. And it looks like there was this perfect man, good wife, good career, good kids, killed while trying to stop an apparent robbery. And they start looking into his past and find secrets, of course. The mortician is Zig and his artist friend is Nola. So they both kind of follow the threads of this thriller and discover a hidden Cold War facility. Um, and what's interesting is that both Lee Child and James Patterson wrote reviews on the book and said they really liked it. So that's worth something. Um, got that. We've got Dark Horse, an orphan X novel by Greg Hurwitz. And this one is the seven in the orphan series. And it's about Evan Smoke. And he has to decide whether or not he's going to take a job to help a Texas drug dealer who has had his daughter kidnapped by a Mexican cartel. So not a good guy, but really the daughter's innocent and he needs help. So it sounds like he's gonna try and rescue her from the Mexican cartel. Another thriller. We've got Susan Mallory, The Summer Getaway. And this is about a new divorcee who's facing a lot of issues, especially with her adult children. One, her daughter is having problems figuring out her wedding and her son has decided he doesn't want to go to college or do anything else. The ex-husband's given her trouble. She decides to take um, an invitation by her great aunt to go to Santa Barbara, California. And so she takes off and has a wonderful time, but then all the problems follow her. The kids follow her, the ex-husband follows her. And you know, they're still serious adult problems, but they just don't seem quite so serious because it's Santa Barbara. So, and then we've got The Orphan House by Ann Bennett. Now, this sounds interesting because the stories come from stories that um, are, you know, true from an orphanage that her great, that the author's great, great grandfather ran. And um, this is about a girl named Connie who lived in an orphanage that her father ran. And she likes it, you know, lots of kids to play with and she gets the whole run of the place to herself. And she loves it. And then that was in 1934. And then it switches to present day. You've got a new character named Sarah who's visiting her father and finds him just reviewing all the records from the orphanage because he was abandoned there as a child or as a baby. And they start finding things that are a little suspicious. And so they need to go to Connie, the little girl whose father ran the place, who is in a, a local nursing home and start looking through her records. And um, sounds very interesting. Sounds like she did a good job with this. I'm gonna read it. That's what we've got for this week. Thank you.